I mean, my Uber. Sean's on his bike. Race is on, go! <laughs> We've seen the London traffic who wins. Right, we're in a race, Uber dude. Yeah, we've got to win. <laughs> How far away are we now? Not too far. Bottom of the road. Yeah, very close. Yeah, now I'm walking, and now I'm walking because the Uber dude said he couldn't drive down here. Bullshit. Hello, mate. <laughs> Damn it. We've been home for, oh, half hour? <laughs> she's trying to sneak in on her. <laughs> the Uber driver dropped me off two streets away and went, no, you can't go down there, there's a cycle lane. I went, all right, and got out and was like, liar. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Hard day's work, never lads, a bit of a bit of a drink with the boys. That's not mine, though. That, that's Sean's. Yeah, yeah, that's trendy. Mine's a pink drink. Cheers, mate. <laughs> okay, so it's a miserable day in London. I'm literally here at the YouTube space. It is a crazy, crazy building so just waiting now to go into the meeting hopefully going to go in there and resolve what's going on find out what's going on be proactive and get someone actually listening to me you know face to face so I'll let you know how it goes on it will be about an hour to pip okay so meeting over and it did go really really well and I'll get back to that and everything I learned but first I want to show you this incredible place so I'm now in the YouTube side of the Google build so YouTube is part of the Google infrastructure, obviously, and the Google building itself. So check it out. So I'm downstairs in the YouTube bit and Creator Studios here. All this along here, so there's all like meeting rooms and equipment and things you can use. So you can like hire out these rooms. So say you wanted to do a project and you need like equipment and hire rooms, you can literally have a dedicated space here to film your stuff. You can have like the technicians come in and help you do things, which is really sweet. But check this out. This is the creator space. So this is where you can come in, if you're YouTube creator, you just come into YouTube and chill out. food, the coffees, the drinks, it's all free. So as you can see from the title of this video, I'm literally going to be working alongside YouTube. I'm going to be going down to London on a regular basis to go to the YouTube headquarters. I'm working with UK Partnership Manager and my own one-to-one -one manager. I'm able to utilize their equipment, rooms, backdrops, even able to go down there and do some podcasting with some pro setup equipment. So this is gonna be an ongoing thing between myself and YouTube directly now to make sure that I'm able to progress with this channel and keep it where it needs to be so that you guys can see it and to preempt any of those little flaws and issues that we've seen in the past, which is really, really cool. So going down there, meeting someone face to face, setting up meetings and actually being invited along to come back down on a regular basis to work alongside them and with them has been a amazing boost to me personally, to be able to just get my drive back to this channel and know, hey, it is a big conglomerate. Yes, it's a machine, but there's a little bit, a little bit of humanization there, and that's all we need. That little bit of hope, that little glimmer, that little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, we'll take it. I will go back down there and train with Sean because you guys seem to like a lot of that. So let us know any more training that you'd like to see, some little things that might help you. Let me know, put them in the comment section below. Make sure if you haven't subscribed already to hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure that's turned on so you don't miss any uploads. So with that said, let's get back up to north of the UK and we'll get back to another deadlifting session here. I am gonna try and hit a PR. This is into my fifth week only of deadlift training. I've never really done this for a consistent level of time before and I'm starting to really Really love it. Next video will be my squat progression and make sure though to understand I'm not doing max outs every time I do these deadlifts. So after doing a max test, the next weeks will be pulled back five rep work at obviously a lower weight. So just bear that in mind whilst you watch this. Do I fail? Do I complete it? We'll see. Get ready to go to the gym. Microphone's bust on this. I snapped it the other day, so I'll do my best to get the recording. Going with the Bobster, Frame Friday at DW. So we're going to get trained, not together, but we're training at the same place on every Friday, which is pretty cool. Because, you know, more people, you, you, you know, but I do, she's in my life, and you guys like seeing her every so often. Can't think why. 
quick hints. So I'm gonna go do deadlifts now, and this is the same applies to squatting. I'm gonna hit pre-workout, because I wanna have a good workout, and I'm gonna try and hit a new PR today. I want to hit over 400 on the deadlift. But what I don't want is back pumps. So something like this, so I'm taking, I take the HPRP max. The reason I take that is it's not got the arginine pump factor in there. So this is a stimulant and focus based pre-workout. And that's what you want before you go and do squats or deadlift or anything to focus on lower back. Because if you get lower back pumps or anything like that, that's why that's your problem. So there you go, handy hint. Right, to coffee, then gym. Oh, oh steamy windows, fuck. Warmed in, not gonna show you the warmings again because I've done those already, but basically building in, doing five reps on 60, five reps on 100, and then three reps on 160. So what I'm gonna try and do today is get up to the four plates, which is 180, and then get that up to 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. I actually wanna go higher than that because I didn't film it last week, so it didn't happen. <laughs> but I did actually get up to uh, 220. So that's four plates plus a 10 on each side last week. <laughs> No, that's not the right weight. And that is because here, we have those Texas bars. Fuck yes, so I don't have to buy one. Nope, not Texas bars, just standard deadlifting bars. These are just standard deadlifting bars. Still a great piece of equipment, but not a Texas bar. Anyway, here's a really nice moment where one of you guys came up to me in the gym and shared a little bit of nice news. So I came in, and that young fella, no, for a while, all right? And he came up and he said hello, which I like. So feel free to come and do it. But show him that transformation picture. Okay, this was six months. Six months of kicking ass and decided he's gonna change some shit in his life. Did it on his own, rang it out, annoyed his missus. She's having to cook a lot more food. Fair play, look. So we got before whoop, and six months after. After, yeah. Just recent pictures of uh, how I'm looking at the moment. <laughs> Impressive. All on your own? Yeah, worked hard, just got on with it and uh, get a bit of a. Uh, Appreciation from guys like you, I appreciate it, not respect. Here we go! Love all round. Right, let's crack on with some deadlifts. From behind the shadows. So we're up to 180 kilos now. Boom. My left lower back is feeling a little bit tweaky from the deadlifts. Really important. This is why you have to stretch. So in between all these sets, what I'm doing is stretching. So one is doing like the tuck roll where you bring your knees up to your chest and you just literally roll back. You, you sit here and you roll back and you pull your knees up and it helps just pull out that lower back. The other one is one leg straight, knee across, lying backwards, reaching that way. That's helps stretch the glutes out and does pull a little bit on that lower back. This is very, very important. So if you start to feel twinges and things like that, address them. Don't just like let yourself cool down, feel it go away and then carry on. Anyway, I'm gonna try and do one rep on this because of that little tweak, instead of doing two or three. I'm gonna try and do one on this, then put it straight up to that uh, 220. No, no it's not. It's 200 kilograms. Don't worry, dumb dumb figures it out eventually. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. Fuck it, come on, Lex. Oh, look how happy Dum Dum was. But then I get wrapped up and don't realize again because I'm too busy talking about this little gym hack to realize that the weight is still wrong. Here's another quick tip for you as well if you're struggling to load plates onto your deadlift. Here's my stack. You take a little two and a half, place it under there, and roll that bitch up to load my bar. God damn it, freaking baby grip let me down again. I saw that bar angle off, then as I was lifting it just, ugh. Straps are coming back into play. I will get this motherfucker, and I will get it on camera so it will count. So as I said, Dum Dum does find this out eventually that it's the wrong way, but that weakness in grip strength still is a factor for a lot of people. So this will be the point where you begin to wrap up now. So you can see I'm really pushing it to the edge of where my grip allows me to go to, but then I'm not letting it hinder me. So wrap up on the when you need to, not before. Otherwise, baby grip ain't ever gonna get any better. What I should have annoyingly done here was wrap up with a heavier weight on there, but what I actually ended up doing is wrapping up and then lifting and burning up energy, which then you'll see effects a bit later on. Well, 
Fuck! I've just realised this is not the weight I thought it was. This is 200 kilograms, which okay, that's still good. I don't, think, I don't know why, I just miscalculated. 200 kilograms I've hit today. Uh, can I add 10 more aside to that right now? Can I? Fuck. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add five kilos aside. I'm gonna pull this bitch. I will break the 200 barrier today. You get in there and you fucking take it. Head down, music loud. Let's go, let's go. You try to take me down, but you lost your hold on me. From behind the shadows. Yeah, that's right. Failed. Failed the first lift. But that didn't stop. Break free. Because if you believe in yourself and you believe in your ability and you set yourself a goal, then you don't let yourself take steps backwards. So light it up, light it up. That line you had drawn in the sand, that boundary that you had before, today is the day you step past, you step over that line and look further ahead. Light it up. I think I just chewed through my bottom lip, but fuck you 200, we beat you today. I was not going to be fucking beaten today. It felt grinder than it did when I did it previously, but it wasn't on camera so it didn't count. This one fucking counts. Goal now is to, I'm going to drop this weight back down, I'm not going to video the rest of this, it's just deadlifting. I'm going to go back down to the four plates, I'm going to be doing three to five reps for three more sets, and then I'm going to go and finish with some accessory work. And. Uh, little bobster. Actually, let's take a moment to appreciate the bobster. For those of you who don't know, because my, uh, I don't know, we got out of this vlogging log, and I'm, I'm liking that we're back here now, but bobster is now three weeks out from what show? Two. 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 Holy shit, that week went quick. From the PCA, Saxon Classic PCA event. So, check it out. So, chill in, and then show your abs. Ooh. <laughs> God damn. Biceps. Little biceps. <laughs> I just had uh, about a 20 minute break taking pictures with the Bobster, which is, this is how we get our Instagram pictures by the way guys. Also when we're pumped, when we look good, and when there's hella good lighting. You are, you are pushing. Listen, you've only just been allowed back in this. What? You want to be banned already? Banned from your channel. <laughs> get out of my vlog. Vlogging in the vlog is vlog section. Right, I'm out. Let's pull this bitch. I am so happy I broke through that threshold. I broke the 200 kilogram boundary. Here on up, it's just moving forward and enjoying what I'm doing. I'm loving this so far. I'm going to aim to make this more compatible with you guys by creating a download for my weekly workouts once I have a set structure going, but I'm still in the baby stages at the moment. So, until then, check out the rest of the accessories from this movement. I went in and did some accessory work for my back, for my hamstrings. Plus, I added in some of those extra rounds of boxing. I'd taken a couple of weeks off because my shoulder was getting a bit twingy and I didn't want to push it. But I am back, baby. Deadlifting, benching, boxing, squatting, improving. We are moving forward. There is nothing stopping us now, people. Crew, I'm with you. You're with me. Let's do this. Brava!
been Lex, thank you all for watching and thank you all for the amazing support that you gave me since the last video because the last one I know was a little bit emotional and I apologise for making some of you guys cry in a public place. But the love that you sent through was real. Thank you very, very much and I'm so glad that it helped some of you get through some of those tough times. But we've got good times ahead. Podcast tomorrow going live as well as the video on YouTube for that podcast will go live. Then YouTube videos commence Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, every single week. Thank you all for the support. Can't say it enough. It's because of you that I'm back on here. A fire under my ass and a smile on my face. Comment below with anything you'd like to see. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the podcast, whether you watch it here on YouTube or listen to it on iTunes or SoundCloud. All the links will be available in the description below. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Lex and we're out.